There's yet more upheaval in the Trump administration, although it does seem like we've been saying that quite a lot this year. The US Defence Secretary General, James Mattis, is quitting his job after clashing with the president. His departure comes after Donald Trump announced the withdrawal of US troops from Syria, despite opposition from US allies, top military officials and many senior Republicans. General Mattis joins a long list of senior figures who have either quit or been removed. Zachary Goldman reports. Hey, U.S. Defense Secretary James Mattis will step down at the end of February, saying in a letter on Thursday that his views do not line up with those of the president. Mattis's resignation letter stressing the importance of America's network of alliances in the face of rising threats from Russia and China. Quote, my views on treating allies with respect and also being clear-eyed about both malign actors and strategic competitors are strongly held and informed by more than four decades of immersion in these issues. And going on to tell the president, quote, because you have the right to have a secretary of defense whose views are better aligned with yours on these and other subjects, I believe it is right for me to step down from my position. The resignation coming a day after President Donald Trump declared he would withdraw all U.S. troops from Syria, saying the mission against Islamic State was complete. Now we've won. It's time to come back. A sudden reversal of Pentagon policy and one that did not seem to have the support of Mattis. We're going to defeat ISIS. You have seen us stay true to that mission. And we are going to make certain that we defeat them. And that means you don't just turn around that moment and say, OK, we're gone. And we all know that. Mattis and Trump were also at odds over deployments in Afghanistan, where Trump likewise wanted to bring American soldiers home. But Mattis and others successfully pressed him to stick with a 17-year effort to defeat the Taliban. Mattis is perhaps the highest profile and longest-serving appointee in a Trump cabinet beset by resignations, departures and firings since the president took office. Mattis, along with former National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster and outgoing Chief of Staff John Kelly, were often described as a triumvirate of Trump's generals. Men with distinguished military careers viewed as a steadying hand on a chaotic administration. Mattis will remain in the job until February to help ensure an easy transition. The White House has not yet named a replacement.